I am staying in touch with several Chinese hardware suppliers and some of them want me to review the products. I am not entirely sure what I have got in this box, so let's get it open and see what's inside. I think I know what it is, but let's go through each box one by one. For some reason they sent me a Samsung Galaxy Tab Pad. I have no clue why I need this and what I'm supposed to do with it, but okay I guess. Then we have got a US power supply, which is totally useless to me, because in EU we cannot use this plug and this is also rated now this is actually supposed to work with the 100 to 240 volts, so it would work in US and Europe, but no, um, this one is not going to be compatible with EU plugs. Then this is probably the most interesting part. This is a single board ARM computer, a UE2R1SVC. Now I have no clue why they picked this name, which is basically hard to pronounce if you are not Chinese, but okay. Let's see what we have on the box. It uses Rockchip RK3588S. It has 8K HDMI output. I wonder what kind of refresh rate we can have here. It has Wi-Fi 6, it has 5G networking and LPDDR4. It doesn't specify how much DDR4 is in here. Okay, so this part is the most interesting one, I believe. This is the R1 SVC or single board computer itself. And it looks about uh, Raspberry Pi size. And I kind of like how compact and how lightweight it is. So what do we have here? Let's start with the M.2 slot. This one is for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapters. Then uh, this is the ROC chip itself, and this is the RAM chips, I believe. Then uh, this one is probably the Ethernet controller. What is this? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe GPU or something. Oh no, this is storage because it says SunDisk, so probably yes, this is probably uh, storage. And then we have here GPIU, and here we have a couple of extra connectors, MIPI and another MIPI pile of buttons, it's actually four of them. I believe some of them are for power on, power off, um, reset and something like that. Then on this side we have Ethernet, three USB 2, one USB 3, HDMI, LEDs, a DC power in. As far as I know it takes 12 volts. I will need to check if it will accept 15 or 19 volts from uh, regular uh, laptop power supplies. I think this one is a fan header or something like that. And uh, these small connectors, I'm not entirely sure what they are for, but this is an audio jack for speakers and microphones. What I can see here is that these LEDs are not soldered correctly. Uh, let me try to show it better on camera. Let me try to show it better on camera. Maybe it will be visible, but yeah, basically these LEDs are not soldered correctly. I don't think it's a, that big of a deal, but if you have a chassis which is aligned for this uh, IO side, then these LEDs will not match. And I would be very, very annoyed with that. What's good is that on the back side, we also have an M.2 slot for SSD drives. I don't know how many and how fast these express lanes we have here. That's yet to be tested. Uh, and we have here some tiny switch on off something, not sure what that is. So let's see what else I have got in the box. So I have got this kind of extension. Maybe this is to get some extra power. It has three pins. And okay, I think this is a PWM fan for uh, the CPU if you would need to. 
Okay, uh, this is just too many small things. I will have to read specification and figure out what is what. But let's see where this one goes. So this is 3-pin and I don't find any 3-pin connectors because this one is 2-pin, this one is 4-pin. Okay, that's yet to be tested and yet to be figured out what this is for. Then we have these kind of screws for standoffs, which is very nice. Uh, as you can see, we have here four holes and then we can use these standoffs to install this R1 SBC into a chassis. And maybe there are 3D printable chassis. And here we have a little heatsink. Let me see if it can be, how it can be installed. I'm not sure if it's for NVMe or from the rock chip, because if it's for the rock chip, I would expect it to be kind of squarish and cover the memory chips as well, but as, as you can see, it doesn't fit here. So probably it's for NVMe SSD. So let's also take a look at what extra accessories I have bought. So here I have got, I believe this is a USB programmer to program this rock chip. It also has this kind of a three pin cable. Let me take it out. Okay, so this is USB to TTL and I'm not entirely sure what that is, but indeed looks like a programmer or some sort of a communication thing. And uh, this tiny connector goes to the SBC and these pins are getting connected here, I believe, and that's how it's supposed to work. This is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, I believe. Nothing fancy, nothing interesting, but let's check the model. It's a Realtek RTL8852BE. I don't know what the speed of this Wi-Fi module, but if it works, it works. Here, I believe, is an acrylic kit to build some sort of a box or chassis for this little SBC. I'm not gonna bother opening it right now, but indeed it looks like a uh, an acrylic box for this SBC. And finally, we have also got an LCD screen. According to the box, the resolution is supposed to be 1024 by 675 hertz. I am not entirely fan of this tiny resolution. I would of course prefer to have it 1080p or at least 700 pixels in height, but something is better than nothing. So this is how the screen looks like and I believe we will connect it to the SBC either through this or through this connector and maybe here we have some extra buttons. I am yet to figure this all out. Here how it looks from the front side and you can see that the protective film is starting to peeling off but that shall not be an issue. I don't see any scratches or damages. Seems to be in a good shape and uh, smells fresh, so I like that. This screen also comes with some extra bits and pieces. I believe this is a mounting plate, which is gonna connect to the uh, acrylic chassis for the SBC. We also have this kind of a ribbon cable with uh, lots of uh, uh, this kind of pins to connect. And we get two of these kind of tiny ribbon cables. I believe one will be for video signal and another one will be for touch screen. Uh, I again need to figure out what goes where and how it works. So if you're interested in this uh, UE2 R1 SBC with the rock chip on board and some AI capabilities, then stay tuned. I will do a detailed testing, detailed review figure out what it can be used for and the video will be published on my main channel.